Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will share with you the Cartier and Van Cleef and Appel's collection of me and my best friend. We don't have a huge collection yet, but we absolutely love every single piece that we own so far. So we will show you the close-up and modeling shots for all of them, which are 10 pieces. And let's get started. So let's start with Cartier. My friend has the love cuff with one diamond on yellow gold. She chose love cuff rather than love bracelet because she likes to take off all her jewelry when she gets home. But I got the regular love bracelet. I wear size 16 and my friend wears 17 for the love cuff. Both are in yellow gold. Mine doesn't have any diamond on it. I was very lucky to get them before the price increase in July this year. I tried on both the love bracelet and cuff in my Cartier shopping vlog and I will link it above so you can check it out and see the difference. Usually you need to size up one size for the love cuff. The love cuff is about 2000 less than the love bracelet so it will be a good choice if you want to spend less and you want to be able to take it off whenever you want. The third piece that I wanted to show you is my friend's Justin Clurin in 18k yellow gold set with 53 brilliant cut diamonds, totaling 0.4 carat. If you have the budget, I would recommend you to get this version with diamonds around the ring instead of the plain version just because it is more feminine and just more sparkling. And I will try to link every jewelry piece in the description box down below. The fourth piece is my love ring in the small model, which is also called the love wedding band that my husband got me earlier this year as my birthday gift. So it is a very meaningful gift for me and it was my first Cartier piece. It is in yellow gold, so it is very shiny. Whenever I see it, it just gives me a good mood and it is very dainty. So you can always stack it with other rings. I usually wear it in my right middle finger just because if I wear it on my left middle finger, it will scratch with my wedding band on my engagement ring. So I usually just wear it on my right hand as an accessory. Next up is my Trinity wedding band. If you watched my shopping vlog and unboxing video, you will remember this piece. It is made with 18k yellow gold, rose gold, and white gold, set with 53 brilliant cut diamonds, totaling 0.23 carat in the middle. The ring width is 3.5 mm. I love the three layer design in this ring and the meaning of the Trinity collection. If you don't know yet, the white gold represents friendship, the yellow gold represents loyalty or fidelity of marriage, and the rose gold represents true love. And that's one of the reasons why I chose this as my wedding band. And it can be stacked perfectly with my engagement ring and they just complement each other. It is not a popular choice for wedding band in Cartier. So if you're looking for a unique one, I would highly recommend you to check out this one. Many of you have asked me about my engagement ring. So if you're interested to know more about this ring, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I will share more details in my upcoming 2021 jewelry collection video. Now let's move on to Van Cleef and Appel's. I just started to look into this brand this year, but my friend has already had a few pieces. The first piece that we wanted to show you is this beautiful Alhambra ring in yellow gold with carnelian stone. The diamond on top of the carnelian is 0.06 carat. The red color looks amazing on yellow tone skin. I just absolutely love this ring. I feel like it is very feminine and very elegant. And I have seen a lot of people wear it as the wedding band or engagement ring. The next piece is this Five Motifs Onyx Alhambra bracelet. She has six links removed because it was too loose for her in the beginning. This Five Motifs Alhambra bracelet is on my 2022 wish list. I like both Carnelian and Onyx, so I haven't decided which one I like more. I think they both look good on yellow tone skin. My friend likes to wear casual outfits, so she chose this black Onyx one, and I think it looks great with her outfits. 
The eighth piece that we wanted to show you is this very special 2017 limited edition vintage Alhambra holiday pendant in bow's eye with one diamond on 18k rose gold. So you can see that the stone's color is a very dark brown color. A very special thing about this holiday pendant is that if you look into the back, it is plain. So it doesn't have the bull's eye on both sides and you can engrave on the back. Next one, we wanted to show you this very cute, very dainty, sweet Alhambra Canadian ear studs in rose gold. And as you can see, they're just very tiny. You can wear them on a daily basis. But actually, my friend doesn't really like the size. Honestly, when you're far away, you can't really tell that these are the iconic Van Cleef and Arpels earrings just because they are too small. So I would recommend to get one size up, which is called the vintage size. Last but not least, I wanted to show you these two motif magic Alhambra earrings in mud of pro on yellow gold. I absolutely love the mud of pro material because it has an iridescent appearance. The color changes when it is viewed at different angles. Upper motif is in vintage size and the bottom motif is in magic size. So you can see the difference between the vintage size, magic size, and the small smallest one which is the sweet size on my friend's ears. I love that these earrings are slightly dangling when I move and it is just so elegant and feminine especially in this white color. I got them for my wedding. I just feel like they are the perfect jewelry for a wedding day and I can also wear them with a lot of outfits because I love to wear neutral and light color outfits. These are my first Van Cleef and Apple's piece and I also wore them on my wedding so they definitely have the sentimental value and I love that they are so classy and so dreamy. So that's all about our Cartier and Van Cleef and Apple's collection. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I will share more about my jewelry in my upcoming video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.